in the last episode of the Duetto Spider build series, I had just gotten this car running for the first time in decades. And in the few weeks since then, quite a lot has changed. The biggest thing being that the car is finally on its own wheels. At the end of the last episode, this car did start and run. You could get in it, turn the key, and it would fire up and you could shift through the gears. However, that doesn't mean that it was ready for a test drive, mostly because the brakes didn't work. To get the brakes working the way I wanted to, I did have to replace a couple sections of hardline that weren't making the greatest seals, and then strip and reassemble the brake servo. The piston for operating the air valve on the servo was jammed, so it really wouldn't work the way it was supposed to. So I quickly stripped the servo, replaced any worn parts, freed up that stuck piston, and then reassembled it all with rubber grease and stuck it back into the car. It should be good to go. Once that servo was back in and I wasn't going to have a vacuum leak from it, it was time to tune up the car a little bit. For this I really just ballparked some carburetor settings. For now it didn't have to be too perfect, but I sort of always err on the side of lean rather than rich when setting up carbs for the first time. Once I had the engine nice and warm, I was able to shoot the ignition timing as well, also keeping it pretty conservative. Once the fueling and ignition were set and the brakes were bled, I stuck these wheels in the car and drove it up and down the driveway a couple of times to make sure everything worked and then back into the shop to look for loose nuts and bolts and leaky fuel lines. And once I was happy with everything, it was time for a test drive.
So I got in a good 10 minutes drive to a local coffee shop to meet up with one of my high school friends, also an Alfa Romeo driver. And the car ran really well. The engine felt great, which was the thing that was most on my mind. It had good power, it was smooth, it was quiet. The transmission shifted really nicely. It had no driveline vibration. However, it did feel like at this point, the suspension and steering wasn't set up properly. It had too much toe in, so it felt really, really twitchy on the road. But overall, it was a successful first drive. Nothing fell off, nothing caught fire, which is really what you're looking for for the first time out in any project car. So we moved on to another local coffee shop to continue test driving. On the way back, we stuck a GoPro on the back of the 916 GTV and got some tracking shots of the Duetto Spider, and it looks really great out on the road. But here in these shots, you can really see the tow-in was way too much. Since that first drive, I've really been trying to use the car as much as I can and put some miles on it, just to see if anything is gonna break. So I drive it, improve it, drive it, improve it, and make adjustments as I can, and the car's really starting to come together. It's becoming quite nice to drive. It's no longer some inanimate project car in the workshop. It's really coming to life quite beautifully. I've been driving the car with the soft top up and the soft top down, and it's quite a cool experience. Although I do feel like I stand out quite a bit driving this car with the top down. The optional extra hard top looks really cool on this car. However, I do have to admit that it needs a lot of work. It's still kind of hard to shut the doors and the whole thing kind of shakes about as you're driving down the road. So it's definitely not as quiet and solid as I thought it would be with it up. So there's some work to be done there. Wow, it really sure is good to finally drive the Duetto and to see it working as a functioning car and not just a project in my workshop. It's been a long two and a half years getting up to this point. Yeah, and I don't even know when the last time this car actually ran was, was probably about 30 years ago, ju judging by the condition that it was in when it first arrived here. Obviously, there's still quite a lot of work to be done on this car, but it's all mostly detail stuff. It's um, fine-tuning and adjusting and correcting little faults and things here and there and just getting it perfect. So yeah, we are really coming to the end of the Duetto build series, but not to worry, there's still plenty of projects left around this workshop. There is the 1750 GTV that I bought as a barn find, which I was going to turn into a rat rod and have now decided to restore properly. There is the 73 GTV, the 64 Sprint, and of course the two Honda motorcycles. So yeah, plenty of stuff to get busy with after the Duetto is done. Not to mention the fact that I've got to do a whole lot of work on my daily driver, the 1300 Ti. All right, before I wrap this up, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who signed up to my Patreon page. I mean, that support has really been like overwhelming. It's incredible how many people signed up. There's like 60 of you guys over on Patreon at the moment. So I'm gonna be populating that page with content as well. So let me know in the comments section what kind of stuff you'd like to see. The support there's been really great. So starting now in July, I can really spend way more time on this YouTube channel because the, the income from that really, really helps. So thank you, it's, I really, really appreciate it. You guys have been really amazing. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in July with some new video series. We'll be rebooting the 1750 GTV build series and starting the Honda motorcycle rebuild series, which I'm actually really excited for because I've, I've had these bikes sitting around my workshop for like a year and I haven't even touched them. And I would really like to have a little motorcycle to ride around in the summertime. So you have that to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.